I'm Ian Jenks. I'm the CEO of SmartChem. SmartChem makes electronic polymers, liquid polymers. These liquid polymers are used to make sheets of transistors to drive and control a new generation of displays. It's a $200 billion industry. And we all know that there's a fundamental problem with displays today. They're simply not bright enough. If we try and look at our uh, smartwatch in sunlight, we actually can't read it. And when the sun shines through the window uh, out onto our television, we have to go and pull the curtains. There is a solution. It's based on LEDs, light emitting diodes. They're those little squares that you see inside the light bulbs that we're all using to replace uh, halogen lights. And we take an LED, and in fact, we make very, very small ones. They're called micro LEDs, one ten thousandth of the size. And on a big screen TV, uh, you might need 24 million of those. And to make that TV, you put 24 million of these red, green, and blue uh, micro LEDs on a sheet of glass. You put 24 million transistors on another sheet of glass. You put one very accurately aligned to the other, and then you actually have to weld all 24 million of them to each other. It's not a truly manufacturable process. It's not one that scales, and it's why a large screen micro LED TV today costs maybe $80,000. What we do is we take that sheet of micro LEDs. We make liquid electronics, liquid transistors, and we pour our different layers over the top. We shine lights at it, we pattern it, uh, but we have no welding, uh, no alignment, and in doing that, we make a micro LED TV. And it's the difference between something that is $80,000 boutique and $3,000 mass market. Protecting intellectual property in any startup is extremely important. Today, we have 175 patents. Much more importantly, we have 40 codified protected trade secrets we make electronic polymers. To make a transistor, you actually use several different polymers. You know, think of it as a stack of pancakes. So when we engage with the display market supply chain, we're able to take individual layers that they can use to improve uh, their existing product lines. We're currently in qualification with three manufacturers uh, in the Far East with our single layers. Uh, they're being used in existing products to improve their performance. And we have three joint development agreements to develop a new range of displays, again, with manufacturers in the Far East. SmartChem was formed in 2009 by Bev Brown, our chief scientist and one of the world's leading polymer chemists. She believed there was a better way of making electronic polymers. And uh, $60 million and 15 years later, uh, she's been proven to write. She never actually said it would be easy. We're based in Manchester in England. Uh, why Manchester? Well, Manchester is one of the world's centers of excellence for polymer manufacturing. I've been in the C-suite of technology companies for over 30 years. I did my first startup in the 80s. I sold it to a company called Uniphase on the west coast of America. I relocated to Silicon Valley as president and grew that company to be one of the world's largest suppliers of telecommunications components. I took Optic Communications public on NASDAQ and I spent a decade as a partner in a West Coast venture capital fund. I got involved with SmartChem in 2018 when I was invited to join the board um, by one of the investors. And the more time I spent with the company, the more excited I got about what it was doing. I've been very fortunate in my life to have introduced two products into the markets that have literally changed the world, one in, uh, the, in gene sequencing and uh, one in telecommunications. And as I look at SmartChem, I just felt that this was the opportunity to do it a third time. Uh, I took over as chairman, I moved to be chairman and CEO, uh, and I took it public on the OTCQB market in 2021. We all have a calibrated eyeball. If we walk into a shop full of TVs, we can quickly scan around and we can see the TV where the color pops. SmartChem's proprietary electronic polymers can introduce a new range of transistors to the world that can drive a new micro LED TV 
And it can take it from being boutique to the mass market and literally change the way we see the world.